Now, this might just be me being a miserable old git again, but has the world completely run out of original ideas? You know, I was sitting in the office the other day and in a different part of my office that I normally sit, and a girl in there had the radio on, and she was listening to one of the main stations, not BBC, I think it was Kiss or something she was listening to. And um, it was all, I recognised all the songs, because they're all songs from the 90s, but they've been rehashed and re-released. I remember them the first time around, they were better the first time around. Oh God, I sound so old tonight. But then TV shows as well, they're just going round and round and round. There's no original ideas for anything anymore. But that doesn't mean to say bringing back some of the stuff from back in the day isn't a good idea. Have a look at this. Iconic 90s TV show Challenge Annika set to return on a brand new channel. Now that to me sounds like a fair idea. All right, she's got to be knocking on a bit now. I don't know how old Annika Rice is, but I don't think she's going to be running as fast as she did back in the day. But I quite like Challenge Annika and the other one she did. What was the other one she did? Treasure Hunt or Treasure Show, something like that. That was good as well. Let's carry on reading, shall we? A TV insider told The Sun, there's a real taste for bringing back classic shows right now, giving viewers thirst for nostalgia. Annika is hopeful a deal can be struck as she believes there's still plenty of life in the format and that she can also attract a new, younger audience. It was a much-loved show with good intentions, so there's no reason why it can't continue where it left off. Well, apart from the fact Annika's knocking on a bit and, um, you know, they need someone younger, probably. They'll bring in someone... They're bringing someone younger that ticks a few more of those boxes that TV channels need to tick nowadays. So if they bring it back, and they bring it back without Annika, it's going to be rubbish, isn't it? Because when they brought back Bullseye, I was all over that. I thought, Bullseye, the greatest quiz show of them all, was coming back. But there's no Jim. And without Jim, there was no magic, was there? So now I'm just stuck to watching old ones on YouTube. And they are all on YouTube. I've looked loads of old Bullseye episodes on YouTube. I love them. Love them. Best game show ever made, ever. Channel 5 has had huge success in recent years with its reboot of beloved BBC veterinary drama, All Creatures Great and Small. <laughs> yeah, that's got to annoy the BBC, right? That's got to proper annoy the BBC. That was huge, wasn't it? And they missed out on that and probably cheap to make it. Oh, well, it would be cheap to make Channel 5 and making it. The channel was also poached Jeremy Vine quiz show Eggheads from the Beep. Plus, it will say a sad goodbye to neighbours in August. No, not sad for everybody, I'm afraid. Not sad for me. The Challenge Annika could easily find a new home on the channel. Yeah, it seems a Channel 5 thing, but you'd think the BBC is struggling for stuff, right? They're struggling for ideas and cheap ideas, and that's a cheap... That was a cheap show. All right, they had a helicopter and that in it occasionally, I believe, didn't they? All they've got to do is give her a crappy little convertible Jeep and send her on her way doing stuff. Cheap to make. Do it, BBC. Don't let Channel 5 nick it. Do something proper. Uh, no, actually, don't let Channel 5 have it. Because if you put it on BBC, I can't watch it. But if it, Channel 5 gets it, I'm going on Demand 5 and I can watch it. Yeah, don't take it, BBC. Don't have that idea. Annika, now 63, rose to fame in the 80s on another popular game show, Channel 4's Treasure Hunt. Ah, that's what it was called. Treasure Hunt, I thought it was better. I just like Treasure Hunt. That was all right. That's 63, though. She ain't going to be running around like she used to. Oh, yeah, 63's not old. And she's probably in fair nick, isn't she? But, uh... Yeah, I can't see. I can't see him doing it with Annika. Maybe she'll be like the presenter or something, but she ain't going to be the one doing all the legwork, is she? They're going to get someone younger, fitter, and ticking some boxes. And they, they might get Annika presenting it. You never know. So many people were touched by the series. People's lives were literally changed. It's been my life's work, really. I've never left it. I was still very involved with so many projects. Yeah, I don't mind the idea of this. I don't mind the idea of this. Rehashing some stuff just doesn't work. Uh, bullseye. I mean, I'm still cross about that. I was supposed to be good, Bullseye. But yeah, Challenge Annika, it could work. As long as Annika is doing it. If you put someone else in, it's not going to work. Because the magic won't be there. It's Annika's thing. You can't replace Annika. Same as you can't replace Jim Bowen. But, yeah, I've got to stop talking about that. Really, you know, what do you think about this? Do you think that Challenge Annika's going to return and be on Channel 5? Or do you think the BBC should nab this one a bit lively? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.